busy today. We are starting the day in the pool. Well, actually, we started the day making bread, as I always do. Just took the bread out of the oven. Now we're in the pool, and I feel unbelievably grateful for my pool and for my house. Man, I can't even imagine how freaking difficult this quarantine has been for everyone. I've had days where it's been hard, and I am like super, super freaking lucky. And I'm not saying that to like, like oh my God, I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm saying it because I just want you guys to know how much I recognize how lucky I am to have what I have during this time. I'm just really grateful because it makes it so that I, I can stay home and do my part to keep people safe and I know not everyone can do that. And I'm really, really grateful to all the people who are working right now and like the grocery stores and you know all the central workers that are have to go out every single day. Oh my God, thank you so much. You guys are heroes. All the doctors and people in the hospitals and everywhere, I'm just, I feel really grateful for them and I'm grateful for my pool because it gives me a way to like exhaust my kid without having to go out. You know, he just gets super worn out swimming, so then he takes good naps and he, something that he has to look forward to every day. And uh, I just feel really grateful for my pool right now. We don't really have many plans today. <laughs> it's splashing around. I'm gonna go play with him. Uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so Eric's putting the baby down for a nap and we had a lot of fun in the pool. Um, we had some mommy baby time in the pool. It was really fun. And now I'm making dinner. Tonight I am craving chicken and dumplings and some veggies on the side. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken and dumplings. Do not come for me. All you Southerners, listen, I know I don't know what I'm doing. I cannot cook Southern food the way that you guys can. You guys are much better at this than me. This is my version of chicken and dumplings and it is not as good as any chicken and dumplings I've ever had when I've traveled in the South on tour. Just letting you know. So first thing I did was I put two cans of condensed, cream of condensed soup in here. I had cream of condensed chicken soup and a cream of mushroom soup. I would have preferred two cans of cream of chicken, but I gotta use what I got. I also wanna put some chicken broth in here. I don't have chicken broth, but I do have this that I got the Asian market. I loved going to the Asian market. It was one of my favorite grocery store experiences in my life. They have so many awesome products and this is one of my faves. This thing, basically you just add like a teaspoon to a cup of boiling water and it makes chicken broth right away so you don't have to keep buying cans or boxes of chicken broth. So this has saved my life so many times, like right now. So I'm gonna make two cups, a uh, cup and a half of chicken broth using this right now. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot. I'm gonna cut up my chicken, throw it in there with some spices and let it cook for like three or four hours and then I'm gonna add biscuits like full-on buttermilk biscuits this is what I'm gonna be using today and hope it works out now let me spell it out for a okay, you are hard of hearing or something uh -huh. So I let my chicken cook on low for about three hours and I didn't put the whole breast in, I like cut the breast in half so they cook a little bit faster. And I'm taking the chunks of chicken out and shredding them with a couple of forks and then I'm gonna put the biscuit dough in and let it cook for, I don't know, until it's done. <laughs> really good instructions, huh? The chicken looks done to me. It's like shredding really nicely and seems tender. Um, I'm sure people are watching this going like, whoa, why is she doing it this way? She's so wrong. And to them say, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Now I want to have a few biscuits for us to eat. So I think I'm gonna keep three biscuits to cook so we can have a biscuit with our dinner. I'm not putting the whole entire can of biscuits in there. But this is what we got going right now. So you can see all my biscuit dough. So I'm gonna stir that up so they all get soaked in the juices and then let it all cook on low for another couple hours until the biscuit balls are done and then you got dinner. We have way too many bananas in our house and I don't like banana bread and last time I made it, no one really ate it because who likes banana bread? Let's be real. I'm going to make some chocolate covered bananas. We have a nice frozen delicious treat. So I have some popsicle sticks, but I only have six, so I can only make six. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these bananas. This is really easy and really yummy. I used to make these in high school and sell them for like choir and stuff. What I'm gonna do is stick the stick inside it. Just squish it all in there. You're gonna put it on like a plate lined with foil and we're gonna freeze this for a little bit before we put the chocolate on it. I read that you're supposed to open bananas from the bottom. Is that 
through. It does seem a little bit easier. <gasps> this banana has a rotten moment. So here are my little banana sticks. I'm gonna put these in the freezer for like an hour, maybe two. In they go to the freezer. I'm going to melt semi-sweet chocolate chips or chocolate chunks, mini morsels, whatever you have. This is what I have. It's mega chunks, semi-sweet. These are like vegan, gluten-free, healthy versions, but that's better for my son, I guess, so that's fine. They taste good to me. I'm gonna put them in a microwavable bowl and heat it for about a minute and every 10 seconds stir so that it doesn't burn chocolate burns really easily. And once it gets to like a smoothie texture, you dip the bananas in the chocolate and coat it and then put it back on tin foil, put it back in the freezer, and then eat them whenever you want. They're delicious. Then an hour I just melted some chocolate, and so now I'm going to attempt to cover these bananas. This is usually pretty messy, so. ones are flins. Because the bananas were cold, the chocolate's already pretty much hardened, and I'm so excited to eat these because I love chocolate covered bananas. Here's the finished product. We got chicken and dumplings, some stuffing, veggies, and a biscuit. Hello. I'm just laying on my floor at one in the morning, singing, and playing music. Well, that's a hor I'm just not realizing how horrible that angle is for you guys to watch me. I'm really apologize. Alrighty, I changed the angle because it was not good, but this is not much better, so. You say, I only hear what I want to, I don't listen hard. Don't pay attention to the distance that you're running to anyone, anywhere. Don't understand if you really care. I'm only hearing negative. No, 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 no. Oh, it's no, 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 bad. I was like, as a kid, I always listen to the song like, no, 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 nah. <laughs> This is a song by a singer I used to love in high school called Maria Mena. Mania? Mena? Anyway, I love her music and I can't say her name. You self destructive little girl, pick yourself up, don't blame the world. So you screwed up, but you're gonna be okay. Now call your boyfriend and apologize. You pushed him pretty far away last night. Really loves you, you just don't always love yourself. No, this time, oh, this time, you have had it in you. Just sometimes the ambush. And all this time, oh, this time, you have had it in you. Just sometimes the ambush. awake I gotta go it's one in the morning 1 30 in the morning my baby's awake I gotta go deal with my baby I'll see you tomorrow